Ballin Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Baby Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Ellen Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. Hello to the Flo. Hello, Flo. Hush, buddy. Hush, buddy. What's up, Flo Means? Welcome back to my channel. The sound you hear around you is that April showers bring May flowers, except it's March for sure. So it is absolutely loud and torrential as we go into this week, but we hit some jackpots, I'm gonna show you. We've decided to hit jackpot after jackpot and really give our summer run some gusto. What I mean by that, and this may be some good advice for you, but we've decided to delay going to other events and instead go to a ton of events, what we call the jackpot tour at home, in order to get the Colts to the next level. We found that we are placing at rodeos, but we wanna win. So we're staying at home to fine tune all of our skills. Plus the fraternity horses behind me get neglected every time we go away to events. So we wanna start winning at a really high level. Those top four checks are the ones that get you to the NFR. So we're gonna take our time, instead of trying to go out and make it work on the road, we're gonna stay right here. That way we're amping up for the summer. A bow has to be pulled back in order to have enough tension to go be really dynamic. And that's the same thing we're doing. So we're creating all that pull back and tension, getting the horses as fit as possible, as healthy as possible, and get ourselves on the road. So here's the start of the jackpot tour. We're gonna head to Boyd, Texas. This is a pin that I've been to since I was seven years old, and it's really nostalgic for me. Back in the day, it was called the Bob Ruffin Arena, and um, since then, I believe Mr. Ruffin has passed, but the really cool thing is that a cowboy church has taken over this arena and kept it exactly the same. The ground's good, the people are amazing, and it was a really neat event. I was first out or second out, I believe, on Flowbot, so here's my run. Yeah, I go. I thought that was a really improved run. I'm super, super excited. I ended up taking over the lead right there, and I believe I ended up second overall. The person who won it, I like a lot. Let's watch her run right now. <laughs> Cody and Mojo did so amazing. I was thrilled with their run. Of course, it was beautiful and flawless. And right when she came out, somebody said, she makes it look so easy. And that's what I always say. So congrats to Cody and Mojo. Flowbot and I were stoked to be just like in the hunt. And now here's me and Strut. was great. He's figuring it out, trying to find out, and remember, I'm not exhibitioning at all. So all of the places you see him are just him cold turkey, jumping out of the trailer, quick warm up, and straight to the arena. I think he's gonna be something really, really special. No time to rest. We gotta keep working on more gas, more power, technically perfect. So it's time to head to the next jackpot. We're going to Terrell. Well, the season is rain, and it's no exception here at Terrell. So there's warm up in the mud. It's pouring down rain on us and we're gonna go and make the very best runs we can. So here's me and Flowbot. Yeah, go. My knee still stings after that run. That was definitely not my favorite. But Flowbot and I are improving every day since he's had a lot of time off, and I'm just excited to get another rep under my belt. Now here's Cody and Mojo. She 
did the same thing as me. We got to break this streak. I'm going to run strut in there and see what we can do. I got a lot better angle at my first barrel on strut. I'm feeling really proud about how he's working. And even though he was lost across the pin and a little bit scared and not running really hard, we still picked up some 3D money, so I'm super excited. So far, he's been in the 1D, the 2D, and the 3D, just depending on how nervous he is that day. But that's the natural progression of these fraternity horses is for them to bounce around. So judge your horse less about where they land in the Ds and more about how consistent they're being and how they're turning, because it really, really matters. All right, now here is Hush Money and I. She's doing so well. I think I rode her really good. Um, super stoked about this run. I won fourth in the 1D and she was just incredible. I know some little tweaks that I can make to be first and I'm gonna try that at the next jackpot. All right, let's head on over to Wills Point. This is another really awesome arena. This is the County Line Arena and it's really beautiful, covered, kind of a variety of pins that we're going to this week, which is super important. So let's run in there. Now, mind you, we pulled up just as they're calling our name. So let's see how we do. First is gonna be Lolo and you're not gonna see a video because Alex and Brand missed it as they were running up to try to video and they were calling my name. But you will see Cody and Mojo make a run right here. They made a beautiful run. We know exactly what we need to work on next time. Cody tuned Mojo all by herself at the third barrel with like making him give her an extra step and just really did a lot of technical stuff that I think is super important to our journey. And that's what we're waiting home to do. So super excited about that. Now it's time for Hush Money and I. Hush Money and I took what we learned from last time, put it into this time, and I got her feet to move a lot faster at the third barrel, and that was really great. I ended up winning third at this jackpot, and it was against some really salty competition, so I'm super excited. Now it's Strut's turn. This is Colts. It all fell apart. He needed a little bit more time. He needed to see the arena. He stumbled, he caught his feet here and there. He just really wasn't dialed in and that's part of it. I'm not gonna change anything. Not my bit, not my routine, not my tuning. I'm just gonna keep going. I hope that this has been a lesson in adversity and perseverance for you because it is for us and that's what we're home doing. I can't wait to show you a lot more of the jackpot schedule, but before that, I want you guys to know that the books are still open this year for Turnpiker's Wagon, our amazing Ruby Buckle stud. T Wagon is incredible. Cinder Lakes Ranch, where he has stood, is incredible. Make sure to call, talk to their staff. They are excellent to deal with. We can't wait to get your mare bred. Lolo got bred today, and she is in full to T Wagon, and we could not be more excited. I'll show you guys around what T Wagon's company is like. Let me show you, come this way. There are some phenomenal horses. 
there are legendary horses here and one of my friend's horses that's won over two hundred thousand dollars a mare is over here waiting to be bred here is Spook's Got a Whiz, legendary, legendary stallion. And then over here is a streak of fling himself. A streak of fling, it's right there. All right, come here, I'm gonna show you one more horse that's just so exciting to me. Also, check out all of the babies and the mares and their beautiful turnouts. T-Wagon will have a pin over here for his daily turnout. Also, I've never been at a place so incredibly laid back, so we're super excited about that. And then, of course, a lot of our horses are also getting bred to the legendary JL Dash to Heaven, who's right here. It's like a celebrity sighting. It's JL Dash to Heaven. <laughs> to say that this is 10 out of 10 incredible place to have our horse and incredible company, we are so honored to have our horse here. So understatement of the century to say that this place is amazing and we just cannot wait to see all of the babies that are gonna be born. So get ready. If you want a contract and you wanna breed your mare, just get in touch with us. We will have some in utero babies for sale possibly at the Ruby Buckle sale. Fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know which mare it will be out of. So we're very, very excited. Science, stuff and things, research and development. <laughs> okay, but seriously, there's options with how you breed your horse. You can get frozen semen and you can get cooled semen. So what these big tanks of nitrogen do is they fill up these tanks like this. They are sent in a shipment, flown on an airplane to your vet. It's way simpler than it sounds. Basically you buy breeding and your vet knows how to work out all the details. It's not up to you to have to figure it all out, but you can get cooled semen or frozen semen depending on the time of the year or when your mare has um, decided to come in, all of those things. Like for instance, most horses, stallions are collected Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but say your mare is ready on Sunday and there's no exceptions, there's ways around that, especially if you're a little bit closer to the farm um, where you can get a shipment couriered to you, etc. But most of the time when you're out of town, it's flown to you and your vet or a courier will pick it up and then your vet will get together on your horse and it's a pretty easy process for you. The vet has all the hard heavy lifting to do, but nitrogen tanks, um, keep everything cool, all of these semen tanks, and then they get shipped all over the world. This place is um, able to ship internationally, so we can ship just about anywhere. There's a whole lab full of places where they can do ICSI, they can do um, all sorts of things, like putting the, um, the collection into a centrifuge and spinning it down so that you can get more shipments out of one collection, all sorts of things to, enable the mare owner to have tons of options to be able to get the breeding right. Now, breedings don't go right the first time every time. I wish that every single time you bred a horse that it went perfectly, but it just doesn't work that way. Fun fact is that thoroughbreds are not allowed to do shipping. So only quarter horses, paints, other breeds are able to do cold shipments, frozen shipments, whatever. Thoroughbreds only are live cover. So while that can be a lot harder on our horses because we don't know how the mare is going to treat the stallion, um, there's a whole lot of liability. That's why we do no live covers whatsoever, even on my own horses. Everything is done. Um, you can see the dummy collection, um, little dummy guy in the back that will have a um, person with a collection with an AV sleeve and they will do their whole thing and they bring it in the lab, make sure it's clean before it gets shipped off. So tons of science, tons of stuff and things, but this place is state of the art and they're gonna be able to get everything shipped to people in a timely manner and they're incredibly awesome to work with. Hush Money is next up on the roster to get bred to T-Wagon plus many, many more. But we're pretty early in the breeding season, so we've just got our fingers crossed that everything goes really well. Also, we are getting pictures every single day of T-Wagon babies, and they're the cutest. You guys, stay tuned to everything. Make sure to subscribe, ding the notification bell, and if you haven't been watching my Insta and TikTok, I'm doing 75 hard, so your girl is absolutely drinking her protein. As always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.